Hi, good morning, it's Gil here, and in this video we're going to reveal the truth about breakfast for weight loss, because this is one of the most controversial uh, and well-known topics about weight loss, and this is one of the most important things that uh, can really help you lose weight for life, maintain it for the long term, become the 5% that actually avoid the yo effect and eventually feel good in your own body and fit back into your favorite clothes again. And if you know the truth about breakfast, it's something that we're going to talk about in this short video, you will know exactly how to lose weight for life. And of course, if you will stay until the end, I will give you a really, really helpful and special gift that can help you build the best breakfast for you. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's start. First of all, why are the what are the reasons why people don't eat breakfast for weight loss? So first of all, the most important thing is the, the biggest reason that I hear from people is that, ah, I just don't have time. I just have to rush for work. I don't have time to cook something for 15 minutes, I just have to go to work, uh, and I just forget to eat breakfast. So that's one of the uh, biggest reasons. The second one is to just think that they will save calories. You know, people think that intermittent fasting is good, or I will just save the calories, the 500 calories in the morning, and then I will lose weight this way. So skipping breakfast is the only thing they do for, to lose weight. And eventually those things are just BS, okay? Because breakfast is one of the most important and helpful things that you can do for weight loss. Like in our program, we usually start with our clients uh, to show them the right type of breakfast, what they can do um, in their own situation, in their own specific schedule, uh, how they can make a fast and easy and healthy breakfast. And it just changes their day completely. They feel amazing. They start to lose weight very, very easily. They become satiated, they don't have cravings. So it's one of the most important things. So I'm going to show you exactly why. Uh, so let's start. First of all, the thing is that if you start the day with a good and, he and healthy breakfast, and I'm not talking about like industrial cereals or just, just having coffee and that's it, if you start a day with a good and healthy breakfast, um, you will eventually have more energy and vitality to start a day. Like you start a day on a high note, you start a day strong. You don't just start a day, you type your computer, you, don't, you feel very exhausted uh, without energies and then you're always snacking things. You just feel very, very vital and strong and energized. Uh, when I eat my breakfast and I'm already eating and I'm going to reveal this in the end, for the last couple of years now, you just feel amazing. You wait to eat this breakfast and you feel amazing and energized and vital until lunch and almost through the entire day, so it's amazing. Uh, the second thing is that research shows that, like, one of, one of the most important things is that people think that if they will skip breakfast, they will save calories, all right? But, and, and, and it sounds very logic because, yeah, skip, skip one meal, I will save, I don't know, 500 calories, eventually it will help me to lose weight. But it's very, very nonsense because the research shows that if you skip, cal you skip the breakfast, you actually compensate and eat much more calories later on the day. So, and, and eventually you will eat more calories than the calories that you saved with the breakfast. So it's actually not good for weight loss. And eventually one of the biggest things here is that if you don't eat breakfast, you just get into this like snacking mode and grazing mode. You eventually snack something 10, 10 a.m. and then in tea, you're just sneaking all the time small things instead of really eating big meals that keep, keep you satiated and balanced. So the thing is that, yeah, you eat more calories in breakfast, but eventually if you look at the entire day, right, you will eventually eat less calories. And a lot of research shows it. I will also put in the link in the description a um, couple of research that really back this up. And the third thing, that's something super, super interesting. So you really, really, really hear this uh, carefully. It's really, really interesting. Uh, there was research was made in Israel and they took two groups of women okay, who tried to lose weight. Um, one group, they gave her, they, both of the group ate 1,400 calories every day. One group ate more in the morning and one group like ate the majority of the calories in the morning and the other group um, ate the, the majority of the calories in the evening, okay? Uh, but the same amount of calories throughout the day. And the group that ate, listen closely, the group that ate more in the morning lost 19 pounds in three months and the group that ate more in the evening lost only eight pounds. It's crazy. And the principle here is that our circadian rhythm, basically our inner clock, knows how to treat the calories that we eat in the morning earlier on the day much, much better than the calories that we eat later on the day. Because eventually, if you look at this, if you really look at this like from a logic and simple standpoint, in the morning, you use the calories through energy, to the brain power, to um, do things throughout the day. So you use the calories. But if you eat a lot of, the, like that's really, really big mistake that I see with people try to lose weight, they eat the vast majority of the calories in the evening, it goes immediately to the fat storages because your body don't really use it because you go to sleep, right? So that's just another reason why breakfast is very important. So if now you're thinking like, what should I eat for breakfast? What are the things that 
are good for breakfast because there are many, many things out there. So let's start with that. If you already know that breakfast is good and it's a vital key for your weight loss. A um, couple of things, a couple of like pro tips for me. First of all, when you start a day, start a day with two cups of water immediately. Like even before you eat a breakfast, because usually at night you are very dehydrated and you need the water, first of all, to become more satiated, to become more energized. And it's one of the healthiest things you can do. So start a day with two cups of water before your coffee, before even your tea, before everything. Uh, secondly, try to avoid high fat, bacon, sausages, classical American um, or British uh, breakfast because it's just high in fat, it will make you more hungry. Also try to avoid um, industrial and very high in sugar cereals because it will just eventually will create more and more cravings for you. Uh, what I will focus, that's what we do with our clients and they freaking love it, is something related to oatmeal. Like oats is one of the best things that you can do for uh, the morning for breakfast for weight loss and of course you can always have fruits i have mangoes here which are amazing um, and again anything regarding oatmeal whole grains whole with bread fruits vegetables it's amazing and if you do it correctly now listen closely it doesn't take a lot of time it only takes maximum five minutes and you have amazing satiating and energized breakfast so if now you're convinced that breakfast is the best thing for your weight loss journey so i have a really really special gift for you uh, you can put your email uh, email address down below on the comments and I will send you an email with three of the best recipes that we used with dozens of our clients internationally to help them have the right breakfast for them to lose weight. It only takes between five to 10 minutes, so I'm busy, it's not, not relevant here, you have time. Uh, and it's really, really special gift that I'm sharing with you. It's priceless and it can really, really help you to understand how to eat the breakfast correctly and what are the ty right types of breakfast for weight loss. Uh, so put your email address down below and I will send it right into you personally and see you in the next video. Bye bye